Hey, welcome to another edition of Ego on Break. I'm your host, Dynamite J. Andrews, and as always, the lucky loser, Mr. Logan Creed. This is three in a row. Three in a row. So, uh, we got a little bad news for you guys. Unfortunately, the little deli I had planned to stop at to uh, get macaroni and cheese, um, they normally have it eight days out of seven, and today was one of those days they didn't have it. So, uh, instead, dun, 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 banana split. So uh, yeah. I hope dessert makes up for no macaroni and cheese. I'm sure he's gonna enjoy it because it's gonna be all liquidy and milky once it uh, once it sets here for uh, 20 minutes or so as we talk. Fuck. So uh, sorry. Why don't you tell us about the uh, your experience of losing the elimination chamber? <laughs> I also didn't know I lost until the next day because I haven't seen it yet. I got at home recorder to watch. I wrote uh, Dark Fury and asked him who won because mm. he, he was watching it. Really and he tasty. sends me a damn meme of uh, Roman Reigns going. <laughs> I was like, damn it, I knew it. I was like, I took your pick, you jackass. I was like, you're the reason I lost. So, uh, yeah, later on we're going to see some ice cream, you scream, we all scream ice cream. And they said, Brian, like, I think he eliminated like everybody but Roman. <laughs> Well, you know, you can't so beat like them all. So, like, one of my choices was winning. You can't beat them all. Uh, you, you just could come in second, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's always second place. So, uh, you watch any other wrestling? Uh, yeah, I watched uh, Ring of Honor last night, actually. The, uh, the match with uh, Silas Young versus uh, the K-I-N-G King. Yeah. Who's the Kenny King? Kenny King. And he got his uh, television title back on uh, TV. Kenny did? Yeah, he did the old, uh, remember the Booker T? Um, Man, this is going to taste really good. Sunset Flip from the corner. You remember yeah. that? That's what he won with. Mm-hmm. Well, a version nice. of it. That's you eat nice. all that thing, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you go right ahead. So I'm going to quit eating, so I have plenty to smash in his face. So I have a feeling this is going to be a <laughs> sticky situation. So, uh... Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Never bet. Never bet. Oh, we're going to bet Never on the... Never bet uh, against Roman Reigns. I, I want to bet on the uh, Japanese thing coming up. It's going to have Rey Mysterio versus Jushin Thunder Liger. Have you heard about this? I have not, but I definitely will look into it so I yeah, can have an yeah, educated pick. Yeah. Um, but I say we pick a certain amount of matches. Can we do it that way? Like winners of each match? Uh-huh. Make it do that. Like, well, their own theories. And like, who's the most right? He's trying to increase his odds of winning. You're damn right. <laughs> My grandpa said, if you're losing at cards, change the game. You I know. know. <laughs> you know, uh, this, this isn't, you know, but, but I'm like, if, if you find out all the matches and whoever gets the most right on their picks could win. Yeah. That'd be kind of interesting. Sure, you don't want to bet on, like, the, we what? could bet against uh, the J.D. Jenkins, uh, O'Shea Edwards match at no, Pro Wrestling. No, 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 hell no. <laughs> Why do you think he? I'll even let you Strangely pick first. Strangely enough, I know the Booker. <laughs> I'll even let you pick first. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Man, that's just really tasty. But I gotta put that down. Oh, you know, go ahead and get that on your right face. Down, man. I got him a napkin though. See, I'm a nice yeah, friend. So, <laughs> I got me a towel. I'm an even better friend of myself. Use it just a little bit. But um, so you watched uh, Ring of Honor. What else? What other matches were on there? Just the Kenny King, uh, Silas no, Young, or other uh, matches? Young Bucks versus uh, Daniels and uh, Kazarian. I think it was Kazarian, or no, it wasn't. Scorpio it was uh, Scorpio. Yeah, it was Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, they are uh, SoCal uncensored. Yeah, I don't like that. I wish they just left to the the addiction. Yeah, and just uh, brought them in. So it. much better SoCal and well, they're all SoCal. SoCal like something guys. different. That's what yeah. they should have done. <laughs> some color, just, some it, it just. I don't know. The addiction yeah. just sounds better. I do like the addition of uh, Scorpio Sky. I do too. He's a good worker. I hadn't so. seen him since uh, MTV Wrestling. No, you have. You just didn't know you saw him. Huh? Um, if I'm not mistaken, um, wasn't he the uh, shrink or something in the Hug It Out things? That crap don't count. Yeah, I'm not talking about wrestling. Him. I'm so. talking about wrestling, you know, or he's actually getting paid to perform to wrestle. Well, I mean, he was paid to perform I at a wrestling was, show. But I don't care about that. But, uh, yeah, I think he was in, I mean, he may not have been like well, the Well, hell, it's still been guy, four but, years ago. Yeah. It's not long so, Um But, yeah, it was kind of cool to see him back. And, uh, you know, they won the, uh, they beat the Young Bucks and Hangman Page for the six-man titles. 
So uh, I don't know if that's on the episode you watched. It was on they the episode I watched. They beat and Bully Ray comes out and uh, announces he's the new uh, uh, enforcer, enforcer, and yeah. he makes them restart the match, and they, win, and they lose the belts right back. Okay, well, I missed that part. So, yeah. yeah. Never mind. Cancel that. So <laughs> they were doing the same thing. Like, Silas Young was fisting a win with his... I don't know the guys. I know one is a Beer City Bruiser and the other guy is bigger than my car. I don't know. And they're like a tag team. Is it Punishment Martinez? No, Punishment Martinez is a gothic guy. This okay. is a big fat guy. I, I, I haven't I, I don't, seen him I yet. can't remember his name anyway. But uh, he's huge. Like, he, he, you ever seen Beer City Bruiser? Yeah. Beer City Bruiser can hide behind me. Oh, wow. Easily. So he's definitely not a small guy, huh? No. I'm trying to say. No, he's not doing cruiserweight stuff. I got you. Um... I tell you, I started watching uh, Pro Wrestling Blitz. Um, it's, a, it's on the Fight Network. Okay. And um, the only match I watched, and I didn't even get to see the finish of it, but it was Brian Valor versus um, Orlando, uh, Mike Orlando from Federated. So uh, it was pretty cool to see a fellow Federated guy there, um, you know, kind of making the rounds, making the towns. And uh, they were having a heck of a match, so I can't wait to finish it. Um, so, you know, if you're on the fight, fight app or whatever, go check that match out, Pro Wrestling Blitz. Um, looked to be a pretty good promotion. Like I said, I've only seen the, the one match. But, uh, you know, if they're kicking it kicking it off with that match, it's got to be pretty good. So, uh, well, shout out to those guys for sure. <coughs> I mean, it's honestly got to where I watch more of uh, the Fight Network than I do WWE or anything else. Yes, for sure, honestly. for sure. So, uh, did you, did, you, did you see any Impact? I watched, started watching no. Impact, and uh, if they would put Impact on Fight Network, I'd watch it. Well, they have the it, they have the Global Wrestling Network, and it's like I said, you can use it free, just like you do the Fight App. That's how I um, try to find it. No, I haven't. You know, so you can you can do that, and like I said, you just have to log in as a guest, and everything's not unlocked. Um, but there's like every impact like the week after it's up it's it's on there for like a week or whatever and Then the explosions are on there. Then they've got some indie stuff on there. That's unlocked. So there's quite a few things you can watch yes. um, And it's getting really good. I haven't finished it. I started, you know, and watch 20 minutes of something then change the channel um, or go out of the room or whatever um, So but I was watching uh, LAX versus uh, Trevor Lee and Caleb Connolly Oh, okay. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what Caleb Conley and Trevor Lee are doing. They're calling themselves the Cult of Lee, and uh, they, they keep kind of changing their looks. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But uh, you know, they got Jimmy Jacobs on there with Congo Kong, and they're trying to get Joseph Parks to bring his monster out to play, and yeah, they're continuing that. So that's pretty cool. That. And uh, Impact is really getting good. You know, um, it's really getting over. And I think it's going to change a lot of people's minds if they just, you know, give it a chance, you know. But they have to get over this fact that it's, oh, well, it's Impact. Let's bash it, you know. Well, I'd seen Congo Congo a few times, and I was pretty impressed with yeah. everything I've ever seen a guy do. Yeah, for a big guy, he can oh, move. Yeah, There's nothing know? technical, but it's a great brawler's match. Right, right. And then, uh, you know, we had a lot of things change in Pro Wrestling Ego. Um, Saturday night we had an event, the Path of Least Resistance. Yeah, I'm gonna quit getting sick when the show starts. I promise. You. Yeah, it'd be nice. Um, and we, you know, we, we saw a couple things change. I think one of the major things we saw was, uh, you know, we saw the fallout of the Boot Boys when the Path of Nightmares beat them and forced them to break up. And um, uh, JD Jenkins and Chuck McMullen had talked themselves into a match against each other, and we had one upped it by saying, hey, you know, the winner gets a gets a spot in this tournament that we're doing to crown a new pride champion okay. and uh so they had a heck of a match i'm talking about uh the comedy was gone you know i mean it was a fight for survival kind of match and uh it was a rope down in revival and they jump and fuse and shout and hallelujah i mean i don't know if it was in pascagoula mississippi that's it but uh at the end we saw jd jenkins win but we saw chuck mcmullen uh take his boots off and leave him in the ring and retire so, uh, you know, it's a sad moment for Ego. You know, we we're going to lose one of the top baby faces uh, in Chuck. So uh, we sad to see him go. But uh, the flip side of that is, you know, uh, we had offered him a spot in the office at Ego. So he's going to be behind the scenes. You'll still see him in the Yeah, yeah, he's going to be he's going to be uh, lead janitor. 
and uh, <laughs> sorry Chuck <laughs> <laughs> sorry it was too easy yeah but uh, I no, know a pharaoh that did that one time yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he was the king of a county or yeah, something that was it. but uh, you know Chuck's gonna come behind the scenes he's gonna help us launch uh, our birthday party uh, kind of thing we're trying to go and build that that kind of market up birthday bash yeah birthday bashes um and uh, he's going to help with uh, merchandise. You know, if you remember, Boot Boys had a ton of merchandise, so Chuck's going to help take over that part of Ego and uh, just help behind the scenes in general. Um, so we're looking forward to bringing him, you know, from the ring to the office, and uh, hopefully he can bring that same fire and passion that he had in the ring to that behind the scenes. So hopefully see some big things happening in Pro Wrestling Ego thanks to uh, Chuck. He's already uh, brought out a uh, – we just launched the uh, – the ego shop on fully gimmicked okay. uh, fully gimmicked.com we got one t-shirt up there already and working on a couple different designs to get some more shirts up there and uh so you can check that out if you want to support us do that uh we definitely appreciate that and uh you know hopefully that will keep adding to to ego um but the other big news that we saw was the brutal attack by zombie dragon on our ring announcer uh cowboy scott i'd like to congratulate him because i've been waiting on that ever since he walked in the damn door that's why they call him the madman he likes to get, see unarmed people get attacked yeah, so um, you know we we had to we, we had to take a stand um we, we just couldn't allow it to happen like that so uh mm. zombie dragon has been banned um you know it, it really caused a stink with the building um, you know, he came out with an axe and tried to chop off the caveman's head. Um, you know, things happen. So it just kind of got out of hand, and, and it seemed like, you know, uh, Eric Silva couldn't control him. Uh, he was manhandling Silva. And uh, so our hand was forced just a little bit. As the, as the guy that runs the venue said, uh, we love having Ego here, but you're no longer allowed in our building. So not only did he get banned from Pro Wrestling Ego, he got banned from the hideaway. So uh, no more no no more weekends of you know zombies drinking in the bar. You know what I mean? It's I had to get him a Lone Ranger mask. Yeah. Come back. <laughs> so um, you know uh, we hate it, but you know it's just one of those things. You know wrestlers they kind of know what they sign up for. They know there's going to be violence, and you know the ring announcer. Even though I'm sure there's a thought in his head where he's like, you know maybe I you know get bumped or get hit or get touched or whatever. I'm pretty sure he you know didn't expect to get his life. Uh, you know threatened kind of the way he did so uh you know zombie blew the mist in his eyes not sure what that could have done um i did hear tell that in his right eye he's he's only seeing black and white in that so there could be some permanent damage and he's got a uh <laughs> quit looking at me like that so you know it's just one of those things man yeah, like that, that like almost makes it all right to be hitting the face with bug <laughs> ice cream i don't even give a damn anymore it's not i like, welcome it <laughs> you know so um, I'm pretty sure you won't lose Thank the color you, your Zombie eye. Dragon and Nightmare <laughs> and Eric to go but, uh, You know, that was tough, you know. No, um, not for me. Yeah. I'll enjoy watching that when the video you're comes You're not a up. cowboy fan? No, no. You, you more he like... You get his rhyme snow and get climbed back <laughs> on a bull. <laughs> so, uh... Sounds like some bull. <laughs> you know. Man. Um... So, that, so what's up with the belts? I don't heard they're, they're stripped. Are they stripped? Not stripped? They well, naked? what's going on? They, they are held up right now, but we are going to allow Eric Silva to, to, to have his rematch for those titles. Um, you know, it wasn't necessarily his fault. No. Um, so we're going to make a big announcement at that about that March 24th at the path at the Pathway to Pain okay. um, in Pillahatchee at the Bigfoot Training Academy. So, uh, you know, me and the other board of directors are, have been in constant talk. And uh, we think we've got a, a good plan that that should please Eric Silva and be fair to him at the same time. Um, you know, even though sure. you know we may not like what the Path of Nightmares have done, um, you know, fair is fair. So fair I thought what fair. we done was fair to, to you, you know suspend zombie from somebody from beating right. up somebody. Right. Um, but there are other members of the Path of Nightmares, with other me That's members it. of the Left Hand Path. So uh, we're gonna have a big announcement for him. And uh, hopefully that'll sit well. If not, I'm afraid for my life. So, because, <laughs> uh, you know, Path of Nightmares. I've seen it. Um, I've done felt the wrath of the Nightmare <laughs> once. I don't want to feel it again. I've been there so, done that. He was pretty awesome when he got uh, me. We're going to cut this short because uh, we're losing uh, ice cream. It's going to be a milkshake that hits you <coughs> in the face. It's not that bad. So, uh, <laughs> so it's going to be uh, slightly uh, ooey gooey. 
Well, let me ask you this for you, Lee. All right. What, what did Jim Sterling do this week? I think Jim Sterling has set his sights on one Shaky McMullen. Okay. Um, I know he had came out, had some words with oh, Shaky. My bad. His other persona. Yeah, uh, Stardust. Stardust. I don't I'm know sorry. what Jim Sterling is, but his client Stardust. I was going by what I read on Jim Sterling's page, so um, that's what confused me. So. I know I saw that he had pretty much said, you know, uh, I'm going to show you why you're the biggest loser or something like that. And um, so he got involved with, with Shaky's match. Um, according to Stardust... Um, when he hit him with the stir dust, hence the name, the, the stars, the glitter, um, it was cool. supposed to be to help him win a match. Okay. He was trying to help him win by DQ. Um, he said the only thing is the referee was too dumb to see it. <laughs> so, go figure. Um, was was that part of Sterling's uh, plan? Was it part of Stardust's mm. plan to uh, use that as an excuse? I don't know. Um, but either way, uh, we've seen a little bit of mind games from him towards Shaky McMullen. Um, he's started to pick on him on Twitter and, and tag him in things. So uh, who knows? He may get an autographed picture uh, of Sturdus himself, you know. So, That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. So uh, I hate that, you know. Sturdus uh, memory. Yeah. Yeah. So we're on a paper plate. But uh, just want to thank our sponsors. Um, they're on all of our event posters. You can see all those guys. We hope that you you know check each one of them out. If if you can't do business with them, just shoot them a message. And say hey, thanks for supporting Pro Wrestling Ego. Share their info out there. There may be somebody that needs their help. And uh, check out the fully gimmicked page. And then just look forward to seeing you guys. Or I look forward to seeing you guys March 24th. Pathway to Pain main event. JD Jenkins, O'Shea Edwards, Styles tied on the line. Pillahatchie, Mississippi Bigfoot Training Academy. So, uh, without further ado, dun dun dun! One last bite of this delicious ice cream. Oh That's what ice cream does. And uh, you're going to see a. Uh, <laughs> That's going to suck. Uh, I'm not going to try to like smash him with it because uh, I don't want to get ice cream all over his car, but I'm definitely getting it on his face. Yeah. So, uh, next time, buddy, pick better winners. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, how'd that feel? You suck. <laughs> Bet. Ah. Thanks, Ray Fury, for making him pick Finn Balor. I appreciate that. Damn you, Roman Reigns. <laughs> I ought to kick your ass myself. Damn, Brock Lesnar. I'm more dangerous than him. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs> god.